I think CRPS remains frustrating for the primary care physician in terms of a diagnosis. It's hard to really have um, good um, diagnostic criteria. Um, and the things we use to help diagnose it aren't always the most sensitive. Um, we do use uh, bone phase, um, triple phase bone scans. Um, sometimes we do quantitative sensory testing on the autonomic nervous system. And those studies in and of themselves usually aren't the best in terms of diagnosing that criteria. So it could be frustrating for a, a primary care provider to really come up with a diagnosis on their own. Um, and it tends to kind of present in a chronic stage and the acute stage is when we find that our techniques are most um, beneficial to patients with CRPS. With CRPS, it is a diagnosis of exclusion, so the most important things for family um, care practitioners to rule out are uh, things that are common, most often DVT or a, a cellulitic infection of the skin, or things you want to rule out before you start contemplating the diagnosis of CRPS. In terms of treatment strategies for CRPS, there are interventional techniques. The most common are stellate ganglion blocks for upper extremity CRPS and lumbar sympathetic blocks for lower extremity CRPS. They're most effective in the acute stages of CRPS management. In terms of medication management, there's really no good evidence-based medicine yet to support outpatient um, prescriptions for CRPS management. Most of us treat it as a generalized neuropathic pain state, so um, calcium channel blockers, tricyclic antidepressants, serotonin, norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, are what we typically use to treat the disease state now. And for patients who are refractory, we sometimes do trials of opioids on them for CRPS to see if they gain any benefit. Looking ahead, um, really the, the new frontiers are kind of brain plasticity and doing kind of cognitive behavioral therapy techniques um, that my partner Dr. Cheadle does and kind of looking at brain plasticity and how we can change behaviors centrally in, in the brain rather than in the periphery where the disease state was uh, manifesting itself at.